for me Dragging your heart around In the lost and found I love you You're the only one Who could make me feel it's worth more And I feel you Lonnie Daddy Jump To be not against my heart you know, I don't know why Kiss thinks of themselves as some sort of heavy metal rock band. That was a Kiss song, you guys. Oh, well, when I found out, I found out what makes the world go round. Did you find out what makes the world go round, Michael? Uh, I don't think the world's round. <laughs> oh, that's right. Did you find out what doesn't make the world go round? Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Welcome back to Bushu Nana Bushu, the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. My name is Emily Aubrey. This is Michael Lyons. Hey everyone. Uh, where's the camera? Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to the uh, show. And John Redcorn is here. Well, hey, John, what's going on? Mino Giga Shave, good morning. I didn't think anybody would be on this early. <laughs> we decided to just turn on the live stream because it's so hard to just kind of riff when we pre tape. But this is a pre tape. This isn't a pre tape. We're taping a show. We're going to do a little some clips for some kids. But it's good to see you, John. John Redcorn, kids. If you don't know who John Redcorn is, when John was a young boy, nobody understood him. His only friend was this really strange kid called Wally Bear. Wally Bear? Yeah, it was John Redcorn and Wally Bear and um, Ellie Sheedy. Ellie Sheedy? Yeah, she was like a goth girl. And then there was like um, Claire, she was a princess. So it was John Redcorn, Wally Bear, Ali Sheedy, oh, and Emilio Estevez. I think you're thinking of The Breakfast Club. What'd I say? <laughs> you were talking about uh, John Redcorn and Wally Bear. Oh, right. <laughs> that wasn't them? No, no. That was The Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club. Oh, that 80s movie. Yeah, remember The, the Breakfast Club? Yeah, I love The Breakfast Club. If you were in The Breakfast Club, which one would you, you have been? Um, you know, that's the thing I love about The Breakfast Club. I was a little bit of all of them. And that was kind of the theme of The Breakfast Club. Kids, if you don't know what The Breakfast Club was, Breakfast Club was a movie in the 80s about these five um, kids who all... Uh, oh, hey, Wally Bear just said, um, good morning, Emily. Oh, be quiet, Wally Bear. And you got some roses and some kisses. <laughs> well, hello there, mister. Hey. What? Um, but uh, the, the Breakfast Club, for uh, anybody under 50, um, was a movie in the 80s about kids who come into a Saturday in-school suspension. Um, it wasn't like it is today. Back in the days of the grandfathers, when kids got into trouble, they would punish them by making them have to come into school on a Saturday. Yeah, that was great, huh? Yeah, everybody understood. Nobody wanted to be in school. So if you were in, if you were, uh, you know, trouble, they'd make you come in on a Saturday. <laughs> so in the breakfast club... All right! Well, the south side of Chicago, it's the baddest part of town. And if you go down there, you better just be aware of a man called Leroy Brown. Well, Leroy was a fighter, and he liked his fancy clothes. And he likes to wear his diamond ring in front of everybody's nose. <laughs> and he's bad, a 
bad. Leroy Brown, baddest man in the whole damn town. Better than the old King Kong. Meaner than a junkyard dog. Well, Leroy was a gambler. And he liked to take some gold. <laughs> Leroy Brown like a jigsaw puzzle with a couple of pieces gone. And he's bad, a bad Leroy Brown. Baddest man in the whole damn town. Better than the old King Kong. The meaner than a junkyard dog. Was better than the old King Kong, and meaner than the junkyard dog. He was better than the old King Kong, and meaner than the junkyard dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. That was, that was we cool. have time for one more. And then Claire and uh, what's her face? Claire is four, and then Ali Sheedy. Yeah, Ellie Sheedy. So anyway, there's five kids. They all spend the day together. And they're all from different cliques. And um, in the end, they find out that they're all, you know, the, the uh, principal, he wants them to write an uh, essay. You know, who you think you are? And after, you know, hanging around together and falling in love. You know what kind of sucks about that movie? What's that? Uh... In the end, there's two girls and three guys. Yeah. Um, and, of course, the jock and the bad boy get the girls. Yeah. Bender and Emilio Estevez get the girl. And the nerd, the one guy who was actually doing good in school, was respectful to his parents, didn't do anything wrong, really. He's the only one who does the essay, and he writes a letter and it's just a paragraph saying, Dear Mr. Whoever, why do you care who we are, who we think we are? You see us as you want to see us. In the simplest terms, in the most convenient definitions. Yeah, exactly. You see us as a brain and a princess and a uh, uh, athlete and a basket case. And a criminal. That's how we saw ourselves. We were brainwashed. Um, sincerely, The Breakfast Club. Hey, 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 baby. Ooh, whoa, whoa. We did that song once. Yeah, we recorded um, Simple Minds. Simple Minds. Don't you forget about me. I'll be alone, dancing, you know what, baby. Tell me, who was, who was the nerd or the geek? That was, um, Brian. Check out the big brain on Brian. Yeah, Brian was the, uh, and it was, uh, the actor was Michael Anthony Hall. You know what? I saw a picture of those guys recently. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. Turns out Bender's like an old, skinny, nerdy looking guy. Yeah. And Brian is like much bigger than him and looks much more alpha. Yeah, when they grew up, they kind of switched places, didn't they? Yeah. Whatever happened to Emilio? Nobody cares about Emilio Estevez anymore. All, all anybody wants to hear about is Charlie Sheen. Yeah. Remember when Charlie Sheen had that huge breakdown? Um, yeah, when he was all like, Tiger, I, I got tiger blood. Yeah. How's he doing now? I don't know. I think he's got HIV. Oh, yeah. You want to teach the Ojibwe word of the day? Yeah, today's Ojibwe word is um, black medicine water. In Ojibwe, in Ojibwe, we call coffee black medicine water. So we would say, you want to tell them what that is in Ojibwe? Sure. In Ojibwe, black is muckaday, muckaday. Medicine, 
is Mushkiki. Yep, that's right, John. Uh, if anyone watching live, John Redcorn just wrote it down. Muckety, Mushkiki, Black Medicine, Wapu. How come we don't we don't say Muckety Mushkiki Nibi? Because isn't Nibi water? You know, Nibi is water, but it means um, crappy bottled water that you buy at the gas station. <laughs> That's right. You guys ever have Nibi? Hello, everybody. <laughs> All right, one more time. This is Black Diamond. Oh, okay. <laughs> missed out on what's that why haven't we started selling makare mushkiki wabu coffee on the internet um what do you mean i mean we could go out buy the cheapest crappiest coffee you could buy some folgers rip off the label print up some labels put our pictures on it nobody wants to see my picture on their coffee every morning Okay, put my picture on. We'll put Nana Pusha and, and Natasha on it and call it black medicine water and sell it for like $15 a pouch. Put a couple of Ojibwe feathers on there or floral patterns. You guys, somebody do that. <laughs> like we're never going to do it. I don't know. Wouldn't that be a great idea though? How come nobody's made... Um, copyrighted, well, I guess the one thing I would like to see, and I don't care anymore because I don't care about the reservation, but, um, uh, you know, instead of building yet another casino, <laughs> um, uh, a group of people with unlimited resources to start businesses and do whatever they want could start a coffee company on a reservation and sell coffee instead of just, you know, playing to people's addictions to gambling. Don't you like gambling? Uh, no, I don't like gambling. <laughs> Why don't you like gambling? Uh, it's not, not that I don't like gambling. Um, I just think it's, it's a stupid waste of time. Really? Yeah. 
Sitting there pushing a button on the slot machine, hoping to get money for nothing. <laughs> money for nothing. That's what gambling is. Get your money for nothing. And your chicks for free. Yeah, it is pretty stupid. Yeah. Gambling. Any gambling addicts out there? Wally Bear is, uh, works for the casino. Is he really? Yeah, he's a uh, security out there. No kidding. I feel so secure with Wally Bear. Does he have a gun? Probably. But I don't think he uses a gun. He just uses his fists? Yeah. Anything goes down, Wally Bear's there with his fists and his feet. His feet? Yeah. He kicks people. He kicks ass. Kicks ass! <laughs> Wally Bear says, I gamble. You gamble with your life. Each time you gotta take the law in your own hands. What are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I like to think that Wally Bear has a really dangerous job. Yeah. Wally Bear says, my greatest weapon is my mind. Oh, how oh, uh, My greatest weapon is my, my mind is a registered deadly weapon. <laughs> So, Makare Mashkiki Wabu, Black Medicine Water. And that was the first Ojibwe phrase word you ever taught, huh? That was the first word that Nanabuju ever taught. Makare Mashkiki Wabu. When did you learn that word? That was the first and last Ojibwe word my grandfather ever taught. <laughs> what do you mean? For years, I, I told this really cute story. I mean, it wasn't, you know, a true story. When I was six years old, the, um, the story I would tell was about how my grandfather and I would get together in the morning. Uh, you know, as the sun was coming up in the summer, I remember, 